In this video, we're going to be sharing with you a really effective defense for stopping the gun bunch and really combating kind of some of the meta things that we're seeing um, that people are wanting to do out of bunch. So um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get my full dollar three two six defensive ebook that we just released last week, make sure you join our Patreon. For just ten dollars, you're gonna get access to all of my Madden twenty three offensive and defensive ebooks, including the dollar ebook. And we've got thirteen other ones available to you as well. So uh, I wanted to talk today about bunch defense out of dollar. What I like to do, uh, real simple adjustments. Dollar is one of those formations where it's such a powerful defense. You don't actually have to do that much to make it super effective. So um, these are the coaching adjustments I would recommend. Auto flip on, auto alignment to base, ball and air defense play receiver, option defense on conservative, and zone coverage set to match. So we're going to come out and base align. So we're already baseline. We're going to actually unbase align when we come uh, to the line of scrimmage. So we're going to come out in spinner. And all we're going to do is we're going to unbase align. We're going to press our coverage. Um, that's going to help with the pressure. I personally think it makes a lot of sense to spread your defensive line. That's going to create better animations for these edge rushers. We're going to use her this guy so that we can shoot the run. And you're noticing that kind of how this looks. So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to man up the safety that is on the bunch or the solo receiver side onto the solo wide receiver. We're going to man up the solo wide receiver, the cornerback that is guarding the solo wide receiver to the running back and we're going to hard flat this linebacker the reason this defense is so good is if the running back does not go out on a route you're going to get a double team on that number one receiver as you can see right there you're going to get basically a inside outside concept on him and then if the running back does go on a route let's say for example that the running back goes on a wheel route uh, which is very popular you know and they could do a lot of different things on this back side but if they put the running back on a wheel route, you're going to see that this corner is going to jump this wheel route. And a lot of times, he'll end up intercepting that, right? Very good chance that he will. So the other thing that you have is you're able to defend the quick throws on both sides. This is a really important piece because if they try to quick throw the tight end, um, if they try to quick throw this tight end flat route, you're going to see that your hard flat is going to be jetting out there to be able to make a catch tackle and potentially be able to, um, you know, you know, uh, intercept it. You know, again, I like to pass him and I think pass committing is really valuable right now uh, with the current meta. So I like to pass him. It's going to help those zones kind of shoot outside a little quicker. And you're going to see that he's going to be in a position where he can potentially make a play on that quick flat. So the beauty of this defense and really the reason that it's so valuable to you is you're able to take away the quick flats on both sides. And then your job is essentially if the tight end runs anything except outside flat, let's say he runs a slant, you're going to use her this tight end. And basically they're not going to have anywhere to go by the time the pressure gets in. With this defense, you really honestly, like you don't really have to worry too much about a corner route. You don't really have to worry too much about – um, you know, a C route because of the, the way that you're setting this up. You don't have to worry about the flats. The only thing you have to worry about is them running a route into the middle of the field. So if they run some kind of mesh post type concept, this is probably the best chance they have. Um, so your job is take the first thing inside, first thing inside, force them to have to try to make that throw in that post. That's a bang, bang play. And a lot of times you're going to be able to make the stop. So that is probably my favorite defense right now for Bunch. I do this out of a variety of different formations, but I like doing it on a dollar the best because of the fact that the pressure is super, super, super powerful. Um, if you wanted to, another cool little, if, you, if you're fast with your fingers, kind of a baity adjustment you can do is you can hard flat this cornerback on the right, and then you're going to man up that outside guy with that linebacker. So essentially you're just flipping those adjustments. The reason this, this is valuable is because you're going to trap this flat throw. Uh, as you see right there, he's right on the tight end. It's very difficult for that tight end to throw uh, or for them to throw the flat. And then the other reason why you might want to do something like that is if they're going to run something like mesh post, uh, which will just create mesh post. You'll see here, um, there's the adjustments, but we now have inside leverage on him. See how we have that inside leverage there? So that's going to be kind of a, a pretty bang, bang, tight throw 
um, difficult to complete consistently. So, anyways, that's one of my favorite defenses right now for the bunch meta and uh, stopping it with dollar. Dollar is a very powerful defense if you want to learn my version of it. Again, you know, a lot of people have released dollar ebooks this year. It's one of the best defenses in the game. We um, we kind of put our spin on it in the Patreon with our dollar ebooks. So if you want to check that stuff out, um, we uh, you can join the Patreon for just ten bucks. And again, the other cool part about being a Patreon member is you get access to all the updates as far as if anything changes with new patches. Um, you also get access to all the other defenses as well. Um, and we've got a 146 ebook that is pretty dang good as well. So anyways, with that in mind, if you want to join the Patreon, the link is in the description. 13 ebooks are available as soon as you sign up. If you want to sign up, head down to the description below, and we hope to see you join the Patreon page.